الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد strive to remember death often and that's a cure for your laziness as everyone will meet that appointed term and try to remind yourself when you're in prayer or before the prayer and imagine that time when your body will be wrapped in a white sheet and when the people will follow your body being led to the graveyard and when your body is being tucked into the grave as that final stage of leaving this life physically and going to the next life of al barzakh try to remind yourself of this time because it's a it's an appointed time that we're all assured of and it's a time that all of us have some sort of fear of this time and some more than others and so if we are conscious of death this can be a cure for our laziness as the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wasallam said in an authentic narration that was narrated in bukhari qal kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib ul abir as-sabil the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wasallam said be in this world or be in this life as if you were a stranger or a traveler this was narrated in bukhari so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised us or exhorted us to not get too comfortable with this life because this life is 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 temporary it's a short period when you reflect when you reflect how many of us yesterday were 10 years old and we can remember a memory from this or we remember the time when we uh graduated from high school which is around 20 years old almost 17 to 20 and we remember that next stage in our life when we were 25 and when we were 35 and some of us have reached 40 and beyond This was just like the snap of a finger. How much good did we miss during this time? How much could we have spent in our life doing good deeds, doing righteousness? But rather, we busied ourselves with things often which had little benefit, if if not caused us harm. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised us or exhorted us to be in this life as if you were a traveler because in fact this example we are travelers we're temporary in this life or as if you're 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 a stranger the stranger doesn't mix too much with others he or she sits on the sidelines they don't get too in, involved in 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 getting the worldly affairs all deep in their heart that doesn't mean we take a lazy apathetic posture but rather it just means that we don't indulge in this worldly life to an extent that it makes us forget the hereafter and in another narration wa kana ibn umar yaqul radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma idha amsayta fala tantadhir as-sabah wa idha asbahta fala tantadhir al-masa' wa khudh min sihatika لمرضك ومن حياتك ومن حياتك لموتك رواه البخاري This is another narration in Bukhari and this is a narration of Ibn Umar the son of uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab رضي الله تعالى عنه رضي الله تعالى عنهما as they were both companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم so Ibn Umar used to say that if you reach the evening then do not wait for the morning and if you reach the morning then do not wait for the evening you know do not expect to meet the evening and take from your health 
uh, take advantage of your health when you're not sick and take advantage of the benefits in life of doing righteous deeds and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before your death before you meet death because that's a guaranteed and appointed term so that's how the salaf of salih how the pious predecessors how they used to view this dunya and this life they viewed it as the dar al amal that this was the place of good deeds the place of deeds because when you die your deeds stop and the next life is the dar al akhir is the hereafter that's when it you, you it'll be too late for you to do anything at that point it's over the time that you had to live in this life to do righteous deeds to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship him as he wants from us to worship him that time is it will be done and we know that three things will benefit us after we're put in that grave as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in another hadith in muslim qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam idha mata ibn adam in qata amalahu illa min thalath if one of the children of adam dies then his deeds will stop except three and he mentioned the first one qala as-sadaqa jari the first thing he said was the continuous charity wal ayyan wal ayyan tabi and the knowledge that people benefit from meaning this person maybe wrote books or they did lectures and people benefited from that they were able to practice their religion better on on clarity and basira from benefiting from that sheikh or that student of knowledge or that person who just called to islam or that person who just gave them a friendly reminder and the third one al walad in salih yad'u or a righteous child that supplicates for you those three things will follow us so that's what's going to benefit us in this life so remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and remember death often as it will help to cure you from your laziness and i ask allah the almighty subhana to accept our good and forgive our evil and anything that i said that was correct was from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad